Hello, my name is Zion. And I'm Ching Wei. And together we're Zin Wei. With the Zin Wei pair. Zin Wei pair. I think before going into the house, we already discovered a lot about ourselves, romantic wise. So there wasn't much. We're just now, I think, just exploring other sides of ourselves in the house, basically. I mean, even going into the house, um, there was little romance compared to <laughs> our usual selves pre the show yeah. so i would say it was just pretty much who we've always been mm -hmm. um, i wouldn't really say as a strategy to win but um i'm not really buying the ships this season <laughs> so yeah it's just probably because i mean there are different um factors that would contribute to being in a ship aside the strategy to win like you mentioned there's the part of companionship and all that so maybe in the time being just to have someone by your side your cuddles person. kisses and all of that stuff so i'll, I'll say probably I, like i will not say anyone is i don't want to say anyone is faking but the ones that don't seem to be very real to me might just be um the one and Sean ship, just that one, because one started too early and it seemed it was seeming forced even in the house. So seemed one sided. One sided still. Yeah. Emphasis on who is not treating you right. I don't know. You either treat me right or you let me be. Well, if, if if your partner is not treating you right, I don't think you should. Okay, so maybe you can give him or her one, two. Three, but after the <laughs> third strike, you should be because you, know, you, you should definitely treat your partner right. Exactly. Like, if you can't treat me right, then let me if be. If you love someone, you should definitely treat them right. Even me, do not let your boyfriend stop you from finding your husband. It's valid. Because some people yeah. are time wasters. They're in your life to waste your time. They're in your life for the benefits, what they seemingly enjoy in the time you are together. So um, you need, that's why in everything I do, I pray for the spirit of discernment. So you know who's there for the wrong reasons or who's genuinely there to ride with you or who's just faking it for um, temporary gains. No, true, that, that's, that, I, I think the answer is in the statement. So you should not stop yourself from finding your wife or your husband because you are with your boyfriend. Uh, so if you, if you go out there, you see the love of your life, uh, chase the love of your life. The thing is, there's no privacy in yeah. Biggie's house. Big, <laughs> there's no blind spot. There's no blind spot, trust, trust me. Like, if, you, if you're standing here right now and you feel like the camera is not facing you, there are two more cameras on your radar or even more. So really, there are no blind spots. Um, but in terms of privacy, I would say it's, respecting other people's space so if you're going to be intimate because the other people around you they're humans as well you know they'll feel some type of way when stuff like that is happening around them the best you could do is excuse yourself to where you can be alone with your partner and you do you the most private time you can get that is not still private because even in the bathroom there are, there are cameras so you cannot even say that. In the toilet, there are cameras. And if it's in the camera here, it's not watching you. The mirror at the back is watching you. So it's, <laughs> there's really not much you can do. But you can just hope that they would not stream or show that. So that is the most private time you can get. Either in the bathroom or toilet. So let's say you go into the room, no one is there. You cover yourself with blankets. And the camera will not see you. <laughs> That's it. For me, my type was not in the house. I mean, I'm very deliberate with the sort of people i go for ordinarily and um seeing the quality of men biggie gave to us this season i'll pass so i think i've said it a couple times in the house that my spec was not in the house so going into the house there were times where they would say ah when you get into the house you find temptation, so the sun, the sun, the, 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 the fine, fine girls in the house. Mm. Yeah, there are fine girls in the house, but like there are things that it's not just fine girl that you're looking for. Like I think we're way past that stage. Going to the house, I didn't really find my spec. Actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. There was no girl that I was say, seeing her there. I was like, I'm on pressure. Nah, no one. I am pro supportive partner. It's not just about going 50-50. 
I don't even mind going 100% if I am capable of doing it, right? For me, what's important is, they said, love is giving, love is caring, love is supportive, right? So I don't think, if my partner is not in the position to go 50-50 with me, I don't, and I am in the position to handle a hundred, I'll handle a hundred because for me it's a no pressure zone. Where there's a problem is when you're fully capable of, you know, going the entire nine yards and um, you, tr you choose to make it a 50-50 thing, you have to do this, I have to do this. It doesn't cut it for me. So I, I, think, I think I take a pretty traditional standpoint on this. Personally, I feel like definitely, women should definitely have their finances. I'm pro women, finance, women, everything, get your jobs and all, do that. But in the house, in the household, like I feel like as a man, you, a man should provide 100% for his household. Mm -hmm. That's the standpoint I take, a pretty traditional standpoint on that. So maybe it's from my upbringing and maybe just being a bini man. Yeah. So the point is, in the household, the man takes 100%. The woman definitely should have her own finances. But I, I know there's a saying that says that your money is our money, then my money is my money. And that's that just how it is. Um, it's still a growing relationship. It'll be unfair <laughs> to actually give accurate ratings at this point because I mean, there are ups and downs. There are good days, there are bad days, you know, but overall, um, it's not a bad relationship. We understand each other. We communicate a lot and there's love here. That's what's important. It's not a thing of rating. That rating thing, it's, it usually gets misconstrued most times. So putting a number on it is, if I also put a number, definitely one to 10 will be enough. So, and yeah, so nah, there's, no, there's no rating to it. It's just love is on, it's unrateable mm -hmm. and it's just it's love once there's love you know that it's to the max <laughs> you can't really dial down or increase love it's just that it keeps soaking you and engulfing you and that's it i mean for me the people i've had to connect with it wasn't based off um strategy or an alliance or the game it was based off how we treated each other right it was based off mutual acceptance and a deliberate effort to be friends. It's based off us having the same or similar um, thought process, right? So, I mean, I mean, I feel like the friendships I made in the house, it's something that would, um, it's a for life thing for me because I'm big on friendships. I'm big on loyalty and honesty. And for me to actually say, this person is my friend. It's because the person has made me feel, you understand me? You've accepted me as a friend, welcomed me as a friend. I feel safe with you. And so why not? Yeah, same here. Like me, I, I know, like I'm big on friendship and I'm big on keeping friends, especially good friends. If my energy and your energy vibe, because to me, like I, I feel like you don't pick your friends. Like you don't go out and say, but I want you to be my friend and mm -hmm. just go there Connect. and say that we are now friends, it gets. The connection has to come organically. And every friend I made in the house was an organic friendship. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a friendship built out, built out of, oh, I feel like I'll be friends with you and it will favor me, nah. So those kind of friendships would not last outside the house because why, why are we now still together, you get. But all my friendships I made in the house definitely need to and would be for life because it's a genuine friendship because they're all genuine and it's, it's, a, yeah. it's an energy energy thing so the energy is always going to be there even when we're old and great we'll still be there laughing and chatting about some stupid shit excuse, excuse my friend so hey guys hey guys it's been fun out here chilling with the coco magazine right yeah. i mean we've had some really lovely yeah, interactions um, vibes. yeah we saw some pictures that we didn't know existed. Listen, you know, so, and, uh, <laughs> this is me saying real. never to be caught on fresh, and, and I have one on Steve's for today. <laughs> well, like overall, it's been fun. Uh, very fun, very fun, very fun. I we mean, just so excuse our 
real calmness because we just woke up, so it's yeah, but I was not eating. Good. I was not eating. So <laughs> but it was good vibes. This filled our bellies with laughter and enjoyment. So yeah, that's true. thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel we should thank do our, our handshake from the house. Yeah, we actually have a handshake. Do you want to say? Yeah, so. <laughs> 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 So thank you guys. Much love. Big love. Big love. Zinwe love, love your... from Zinwe, guys. Exactly.